Our next guest is Michelle Baccarat, who's the co-founder and CEO of Find Mine. What got you into starting this company? It's actually a little embarrassing. Um, it it kind of sounds like the most selfish reason to start a business. It's because I had a problem that I wanted to solve. And I think a lot of women especially have this challenge where we feel pressure to be stylish, yeah. but not everyone has that kind of style gene where you can just see something like this and be like, oh, I know five ways to wear that. So I struggled with that. I struggled with that when I would buy furniture, even when I would buy things like electronics. And I figured someone should be automating that and help a consumer like me answer the question, how do I use this for any product that I might pick up on the shelf? But I didn't have the tools to solve it. I, yeah. I have a product management background, but I wasn't a computer scientist, a data scientist to actually like execute it. And so I met a friend of mine's husband who's a computer scientist. What he saw was this opportunity to use artificial intelligence and machine learning and technology to solve this really interesting problem of like, can we make a, a machine replicate what a human does, which is like figuring out what's stylish. What has surprised you on some of the amazing things that are now starting to come into visibility for you? I think what was really important was that we kind of like built something that could scale long term. So this broad vision of like every single product that you could pick up off the shelf as a consumer, you know exactly how to use it. For me, there's like a personal mission in that because I hate waste and I was buying all this stuff like in fast fashion yeah. and just sat in my closet because I didn't know how to use it. And if I had just gotten that piece of information up front, then I probably would have been able to integrate it into my life. What's the state of the art right now in retail? So everyone talks about like, oh my God, like no one's going to shop in stores anymore. Well, we're a long way away from that. Over 90% of all commerce is still done in the physical store. It's just that all the growth is in e-commerce. E so at some point, maybe it'll completely take it over, but I, I personally don't feel like that's the case because we're humans, we crave social interaction, and part of shopping is that social interaction, that consultative yeah. nature of selling that I hope won't be replaced completely by a screen. 